We're starting with the tropics here, and uh, this is Lee, Tropical Storm Lee. Uh, winds of 65 miles an hour sustained right now, so it's gained some strength and you know it just formed yesterday, so it's, it's already gaining strength quite a bit. It is going to gain quite a bit more strength as we go through time. Uh, there's the latest track one, two, three, four. Those are categories of hurricanes and so it becomes a category four. It does look like it'll miss, uh, you know, the lesser Antilles. It'll miss Puerto Rico, so that's good. They'll still have some effects. Uh, and there's a pretty high confidence in the track up to about that point. After that, there's a big split. You know, if we if we kind of added one more section here, the split would be pretty big. But I think it would start to take a little bit more of a turn to the north. So let's take a look at a couple of different computer models. This is the GFS and the European model. They're two global, powerful models. That's why we use them quite a bit. And so uh, the lines here, they're all compact. That's uh, that's the pressure lines. It's a major hurricane, and both of them agree on that. They disagree on the track a little bit, though. And uh, it looks like the GFS is maybe a little bit broader. So uh, this goes up through Tuesday, but let's go past that point. Both of them do hook it to the north, and both of them have it a little closer to Bermuda than the United States. But we just can't rely on this completely. The model still could change. Some other models have it going a, a little bit more to the west. So we're going to watch this carefully. This is a little reassuring. But, you know, it's still early in the game. We have to keep a close eye on that league because, I mean, you saw the track. It's pretty much due uh, northwest or west-northwest. And so uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll bring you the latest. Now, anyway, around here right now, we just have a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, and high pressure. So today, 93, feeling like 100. 94 tomorrow, feeling like 101. 90 on Friday, and then 87 Saturday. So the temperatures do tick down going into the weekend. But, I mean, it still feels like 93 on Saturday. It's not going to be refreshing, 87. We have uh, quiet weather out there right now, and we'll have a lot of sunshine between now and noon. Mostly sunny skies. Winds will be variable 5 to 10 miles an hour. Might be out of the north for a little bit. Maybe that'll cool down a couple locations near the shore, like Norfolk, a degree or two. But overall, just expect a lot of heat and a lot of humidity up there through the day. Overnight, mostly clear skies, muggy. Uh, temperatures in the 70s, and then tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies, but tomorrow we might see some isolated showers and storms. Now, they might mostly be inland, but a couple of these might be a little closer to the metro, so I got a 20% chance for rain. Today, no rain, mostly sunny, hot. 92 Virginia Beach, 92 in Norfolk, mid-90s in Elizabeth City, and uh, out towards Franklin, upper, upper 90s. The heat index, 98 to 101. Upper 90s in Williamsburg, but low to mid-90s between Hampton, Pocosin, Newport News, and Gloucester, 90 in Melpha. So uh, boating forecast, winds variable on the water, 5 to 10 knots, seas to 3 feet, the base 1 foot. We still have that high threat for rip currents at the local beaches. Just can't shake it. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Maybe it'll calm down enough you'll be able to get in there if you can go to the beaches today. But um, I think a lot of folks are back at work anyway, so end school. So 94 tomorrow, then 90 on Friday, and then we've got 80s coming in for Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 80s. There will be some scattered showers and storms. Uh, we're not looking at, uh, you know, a lot, but uh, some scattered storms are possible.